Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Annalisa Ely, and today I am designing an OC for the Demonathon. What is the Demonathon, you ask? <laughs> It'll be linked below with all the details, but basically it's a readathon that's happening in the last half of February that centers around various different cultures, ideas of maleficient, mm, negative <laughs> uh, spirits who are supernatural and have it out for humanity or are what is generally considered in Western civilization a demon. But the uh, supernatural creatures and spirits that this uh, readathon centers around are not all so negative specifically as demons in Western culture. And so there's lots of interesting stuff going on. And one of the things that is part of the Demonathon is to come up with your own spirit and come up with a bargain you can make with them because there are a lot of cultures in which a person can bargain with a demon and usually <laughs> it turns out worse than they expect. But it works along the lines of trading something big and important for something else big and important. You probably get the gist. But you can make it anything in this case. And since you are supposed to create your own demon that doesn't have to be based on anything in accepted uh, widespread mythology, you can just make your own up. Or you can use one that is in regular mythology. But I decided to make one that was totally my own thing. I was thinking quite a bit about it and what I wanted to do and for a while I was sure it was going to be a cat because they are my favorite animal but then I remembered that I have a more exotic favorite animal since a lot of other people who were designing demons for the demonthon who got theirs finished before me were doing cats I decided to do my other favorite animal which is the red panda and so I also decided that this would be a good opportunity to show my sketching process because I'm going from <laughs> uh, creating a totally original character and so you can see my whole design process and where I'm coming from. And so I really enjoy watching other people who do this, like uh, Drawing with Waffles. It's really interesting to see where concepts come from and how they evolve once an artist gets it down onto the page. So you can see me here <laughs> designing what my OC will look like. So let me tell you a little bit about this red panda. Her name is Aurora because that is one of my favorite names that I have not already named another OC after. And it also kind of evokes the color red and other vibrant uh, sunrise sort of colors because it means uh, sunrise or goddess of the sunrise, depending on <laughs> what basis you take for it. But to make her a little bit more supernatural, besides just being a red panda with superpowers, I decided to make her a weird color because, you know, that's just the thing that sometimes artists and writers do to just make a creature that's real turn into a magical creature. <laughs> so Aurora is going to be purple once I finally get around to coloring her in. And you can see, especially with her uh, frontal face picture, I evolved that a lot. I had a very hard time doing sort of up close frontal face for a red panda that is half stylized. I just had a really hard time with that. But finally, eventually, I figured out the jawline and the size of the eyes relative to the head. That was the hardest part because the eyes are actually relatively small compared to the head and usually cute things I'm used to drawing with big eyes. And uh, in this case, it just looks much better with small eyes. And <laughs> we needed the tufts out to the side of the head because the head is not round. It's more of a weird shape with pointy cheeks. And so Aurora's power that I'm making an imaginary deal with her for is uh, I decided to go with a little rep on this one. So she is a fibromyalgia helper basically. She can do pain relief but her main thing is that she gives cuddles and uh, <laughs> can do healing. And so she is my little chronic illness helper. And the idea behind your demon deal in the demonathon is that you are trading your time and effort and dedication to reading a bunch of books for the Demonathon, and that's what gets you uh, their favor and gets them to give you whatever their special power is. So during this video, I am also going to tell you my TBR for the Demonathon. And so there are six prompts, and I'm going to do one book for each. 
The first prompt is The Incubus and Succubus, and this is to read a seeming romance or a book with a sex scene. And I picked A Duke by Default. You don't realize until you actually are seeking out something like this specifically for a, a readathon prompt, but it's actually really hard to find out whether a book has sex scenes or whether it's a clean romance or maybe it would say somewhere if it was clean and it's just assumed that it's not but I had to look so hard to get it to actually tell me specifically that there was a sex scene and nobody actually said that they just uh talked about how the author talked about certain body parts and by that I figured if they were talking about those then there must be uh, an explicit sex scene and the way that I decided on my TBR <laughs> for this readathon was that I tried to pick mostly from books I was already attempting already wanting to read this month because I had had them recommended to me so this one's recommended to me if I can remember before this video goes up I will uh, say in the description who recommended it so I was planning on reading that and so I <laughs> looked up to try to find whether it would fit this prompt and it does so the second prompt is yokai read something fun and light and for that I am rereading re a poetry collection that my aunt and cousin just gave me which is called I Can Pee On This which is about cats and <laughs> their misbehaving ways. Then we have, I'm probably going to mis mispronounce these because they're not in my language, but Shatani which is an asymmetrical shapeshifter whose um, mythology comes from East Africa and that is to read a book that is weird or doesn't fit one genre and for that I'm going to read the lifestyles of gods and monsters it's right behind me <laughs> so I was able to check the title I didn't write the whole thing down next is Wakufe which has origins in South America and that is to read a book with secrets or lies and for that I'm reading the lightning thief because somebody told me <laughs> that uh, the main character does not know who his supernatural parent is and he finds out at the end of the book, I think. And then we have Eudaimonides, who is a Greek muse, uh, and that is to read something inspiring, and for that I am reading Becoming by Michelle Obama. Next is Jin which is to read an adventure slash action filled book. And for that, I am reading Heartless, which is the fourth book in the Parasol Protectorate series. And while it is paranormal romance, it is also cool. The previous three books have also been quite action packed. So I'm assuming that this one will be as well. Next is the Raven Mocker, who is always hungry and I think likes to eat children. And so you're supposed to read an indulgent book for this. And that for that, I'm going to read Spinning Silver, which is a book I've wanted to read for a long time, but I've never gotten around to because I always feel like I should read other things first. So this is my character sheet for Aurora, the Cuddles and Pain Relief Red Panda. And remember, she is a red panda, despite the fact that she is technically purple. She likes to sit on branches and look overlook people and she likes to curl up in a ball to sleep. I used my Firefly alcohol markers for this piece on marker paper and it worked really well. I'm really happy with it even though the style is a little different than some things I've tried with uh, markers before. I really think the patchy look is kind of fun. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!